Hey guys, welcome to Thought for Food TV. I'm Kelsey from beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Currently at the top of South Boulder Peak, just hiked Green Mountain and Bear Peak, all of which are over 8,000 feet. Uh, enjoy the vlog today. Don't forget to go eat some plants and do some epic shit. But first, check out this awesome view. Nothing but gratitude. It's six in the morning. You know what time it is. It's gluten time. So we're about to record what's the deal with gluten. Uh, it's like early in the morning and um, sometimes you just got to do this early in the morning because Aaron, you know, his daughter is sleeping and so it's a great, great time for us to do it. Um, but yeah, really excited for this episode. I think it's going to go great. Can you hear me? Yep. What's up? Not much. Let me um, turn my video off here. I can't see you anyway. Uh, you don't have yours on. Good morning. I just took a big rip out of a huge baguette, and as a result, I'm feeling just pure energy, pure, like, gluten-fueled fire in my belly. All right, successful podcast done. Uh, look for the What's the Deal with Gluten podcast episode coming out on Thursday, this Thursday, if you're watching this. Um, if not, if you're watching this in the future, it'll already be live. So it's a, it's a good, good uh, look, di deep dive into the world and realities and myths of gluten. And uh, so I think it'll be a really helpful episode for a lot of people. Please let me know what you think of it when it's out um, and subscribe to the podcast to get it right when it comes out. Taking the bro to school. What's up? I didn't know if she could leave it. Bye, <laughs> Dan. Okay, it's cold and it's probably gonna rain in like 20 minutes, but I'm just getting out for a short, quick little spin, get out of the house. Uh, just probably pretty easy ride. Um, but right now, favorite song is Redbone off of Childish Gambino's new album. Go listen to it, it's really good. But yeah, I'm gonna just pedal my bike for a little bit until I get rained on and then go home. back just in the nick of time it's starting to rain outside short little hour ride felt good a little bit cold but can't complain when you get to ride your bike every day now I'm just gonna make a quick little smoothie recovery probably just some greens bananas <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Pardon me if my mouth looks all black and blue, it's because of the blueberries and the spinach. Pro tip, if you want to have just super quick and easy, delicious like smoothie bowls or just smoothies or nice cream, here's some things to have just on hand at all times and make sure that you always have. Frozen bananas, this is huge. Uh, if you want a lot of bananas and a lot of frozen bananas for a while, buy a case, ripen it up and freeze them all and then you'll just have frozen bananas for days, literally. Frozen fruit, like blueberries. I love, I just keep a, a big bag of frozen blueberries in the freezer at all times. Frozen berries are more often less expensive than, you know, normal fresh berries. And of course, greens, number three, uh, spinach, kale, uh, chard. Number four, nuts and seeds. So I like hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, uh, Walnuts, almonds, I mean the list goes on. The, the mixture of those th of those things can make an awesome smoothie. And then you can go wild and go crazy and throw on some granola, some cereal, some some more frozen or, or cut up fresh fruit, just depending on the season. But smoothies and smoothie bowls are like my favorite lunch. I've been eating them for lunch for basically the past three years. And it's it's just such an easy and quick and delicious and healthy way to get in a bunch of uh, nu nutrition in, especially after a workout. Hey man, hey, uh, sorry to bother you. I just, um, I don't know man, I just came across some crazy data that I feel like I've gotta share with the vlog, so I hope you can help me out. Hey guys. So, I want to talk seriously for a minute about gluten. Did you know that gluten is the only confirmed cause of any and all autoimmune diseases? And did you know that gluten causes muscle wasting and fatigue and obesity and diabetes? Did you know that gluten increases your risk of all known cancers? and that it even stunts the growth of children. She stopped growing months ago. It's quite possible that you could say that gluten is the most dangerous edible substance on earth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, that's totally not true, um, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that. You guys are going to have to check out our What's the Deal with Gluten episode coming out tomorrow to get the rest of the facts and to get the down low on the science. Stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching. Got to get my gluten-free cookies on. That means they're healthy. Thank God bacon is gluten free. I wouldn't want all that inflammation. And so I just wanna make it super clear that we're not making fun of anyone that has actual celiac disease or even gluten sensitivity. It's not what this is about. Uh, we are just trying to clear up the misinformation and myths around gluten. And as you'll see in this clip from Jimmy Kimmel. Do you maintain a gluten free diet? I do indeed. And what is gluten? Okay, does he know what gluten is? No. Oh, everyone says no. Well. As far as for me, how, how it affects my body. Uh, but, what, but what is gluten? Oh, that, this is pretty sad because I don't know. Uh, gluten's in bread. It's a flour derivative, wheat, wow. thing like that. <laughs> it's a flour derivative? Like a, like a, it's like bread, things like that, pastries. It's in those things? Yeah, it's in those things. But what is it exactly? Gluten is a, it's like a grain, right? 
the most harmful thing about gluten right now is the fact that most people don't even know what it is and they just follow the diet trend for whatever reasons like their yoga teacher told them about it or their friend or they read some book that's not up to date with the latest scientific research and we're just trying to help you to understand what is actually going on and what the science actually shows in order to live healthier and it's harmful to just exclude gluten out of your diet for no particular reason because you exclude whole grains which are extremely healthy and it's also ridiculous that the gluten-free industry is going to be around 29 billion dollars by 2020 and the fact that there's entire sections at the grocery store that are marked uh you know gluten-free cookies and soap and you know bacon so that's also pretty lame. Subscribe to the podcast so that you can listen to the What's the Deal with Gluten episode coming out tomorrow. Um, we just really want to share it with you. We really want you to become literate in the science behind gluten and gluten sensitivity. And again, this is really serious stuff for people with celiac disease and you know actual wheat allergies and, and sensitivities. And I know we like to poke fun at things, but we're not trying to offend anyone. We're not trying to make fun of this real issue, but for 98% of the population, uh, gluten is not really an issue. And so we just want to bring awareness to that fact. That anything that has no gluten in it is healthy for you. Want some? They're gluten free. You need as many as you want. So good for you. Do I look more vibrant from these? I feel like my bones are getting stronger. <laughs> Let me go.